Yo, what's going on guys? So in today's video, we're going to be going over a solo sofa lobby where you are matched against three other melee. This can be a hard situation to be in, but there are a lot of things you can do to maximize your potential to win the round. In this video, we're going to be analyzing my gameplay so we can learn from the good things I did as well as some of the mistakes I made. Overall, in a melee lobby, your mentality and checklist of things to do is as follows. 1. Continuously kite the melee away from the enemy healer. If they're going to be on your ass, make sure that they're aligning their healer and forcing their healer into bad spots to chase you. 2. Tell the melee on your team what target you want to hit and focus on putting all your CC slash peels on the off target, scatter, steel trap, even in Tim sometimes. 3. Make sure you are trading your mobility as best you can. Do not overlap too much. Think of scatter, disengage, and freedom all as separate distance creators. 4. Do not run through the melee to CC the enemy healer. Creating space and playing for dampening is more important than a trap when you have no pressure. The key is to survive long enough to play off your melee teammate's pressure and a win condition should open up eventually. A small CC such as a silence or scatter on the healer paired with your burst can be all it takes sometimes. Okay, let's get into this round one. I'm paired with the DK and I told him I wanted to go rogue more, and I'm focusing on cutting the warrior. So I'm, I'm hawking this misweaver from stealth. We pull the rogue out with the A-bomb. I actually trapped the misweaver here, but I should have realized it was going to break the A-bomb. I realized it a little bit late, so I just I go for a pet stun into a silence on him. It looks like they're going my DK, so I thought I was home free. We stunned the rogue. He actually trinkets to step disarm me, so here... Now I know that this rogue wants to go me. So I steel trap him behind the pillar because he wants to kidney me off the disarm and I made sure to freedom his step so that I wasn't slowed by his crippling poison. I want to make sure that I get stunned in my healer's line of sight so I can get pulled or use some type of cooldown on me. You don't want to get stunned outside of your healer's line. So I jump back. I had a global here to scatter the warrior, but we didn't do it. That would have been a very high value scatter because you want to trade your scatter for Stormbolt almost script. But I get Storm Bolted, that puts me on Sunday for Kidney, and I'm in my healer's line now, so he should be able to grip me. I Ross over as well. He pulls me away, nice, and now we're beginning the kites. So he, he charges me now, so now I can disengage, but I start with a steel uh, a tar trap first. We disengage away. Now the Rogue has a step for me, but I'm on Kidney DR, so he kidneys me DR. He's getting his bleeds on me. But now we're just cranking the Rogue. I can stand here for a sec, because I have some space. I get one aim shot off. I'm watching my debuffs in case he death marks me, because I have Dwarf available. My DK is doing some soul shit on Misweaver, but then he comes back to the rogue. I still trap the wire off me, and then disengage. The rogue vanishes, and steps to me. So now that was the rogue's second step, he kidney bombs me. I consider trinketing, but my dragon is very close to me, and he comes in and actually removes all my bleeds. So we use a knock there. We get the cocoon. So now I'm back kite mode. We got some buttons. I have my double tap suit, and I'm disarmed anyways. I tried to trap off that stun, but it seems like my DK was just turning the misweaver there, so the trap breaks. So I'm just kiting. This is actually a pretty low value trinket here. Uh, I was really pissed I didn't scatter the stormbolt because I was still disarmed, so I like trinket scattered. But it was actually a DR stormbolt, so it was actually a really good stormbolt for me to sit. Um, so I definitely shouldn't have trinket that. I should have just sat it and scattered out. But I trinket scattered, and then I just turtle too because I'm just dying. They're on me. I'm trying to make as much space as I can. I have a freedom back and a steel trap back now soon. Meanwhile, my DK is cranking the Misweaver. I'm just playing off his pressure, so I see it. I'm like, hmm, the Rogue has no trinket, though, and this guy just got intervened. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to stun the Rogue. He vanishes. I'm just going to stun the Rogue and crank, but I get feared. And I see the Rally about to fall, and I see the Misweaver over here. And I have my Sentinel Owl. So I drop the Sentinel, and I drop the Rapid Fire, and that's all she wrote. Playing off my DK's pressure, just continuously cutting, and a, and a win condition opened up. Okay, so now we got the Rogue on my team. We're playing Asa Thug, and we're fighting Miss Weaver TSG. So we talk about in the starting room, we said to go Warrior. So I'm looking to get a double tap going for my stealth. But every DK and their mother just yoinks me out of stealth every time. <laughs> it's whatever. We double tap, throw the chakrams. So I'm trying to get away from the DK and line the grip peels. I get the rapid fire off and kill shot. So now I give the DK the grip, and I'm spamming scatter. I maybe should have been spamming scatter on the DK because Warrior was the kill target, but... We slowed this grip go down a little bit, which is nice. A-bomb limb coming in. The dragon tries to grip me out, which would have been really dope, but the A-bomb limb yoinks me back. So now I'm like, okay, I can disengage. I still trap the DK and disengage away. The warrior does have a charge for me, though. I'm using the pillar, though, to get some distance away from him. I'm looking, I'm looking. I don't have too much mobility here. I dropped the silence on the healer. And I know since I don't have a disengage or a freedom, um, they're going to be on me for a little bit. So I'd press wall and true shot just to get some counter pressure. We're cranking it up, cranking it up. My rogue also shoves the death mark here and we force the cocoon. I just volley for some more cleave. I'm just kiting away, kiting away, running away. Disengage the charge now. 
Right here, I'm getting a little too close to the Mistweaver. I am making them line the Mistweaver on this pillar, but I don't want to be on the same pillar as the Mistweaver. I realize that. Mistweaver rolls into line. So I try to steel trap. I bricked it though somehow, like a ledge. So I'm running away from the Mistweaver now. Like, I could have maybe looked for a trap here and spent some resources going for a trap, but like, look at my health bar and look at these melee uptime on me. Like, I just have to keep kiting away and get away from the Mistweaver. Fuck a trap. My rogue sends a blind. I'm like, nice. I feign, trying to get some distance. I tar trap them off me. Throw chalkums, I get gripped in. I'm like, hmm, did he want me to get trapped off the blind or is he gonna sap it? So I'm like hovering the trap, but he saps it, thankfully, because these guys are just tossing me around like a little beanbag. So I'm trying to get some pressure out with this blind sap. I could have probably thrown a half trap into an intim, but I'm just like, fuck it, bro. I'm just gonna sit here and try to get some damage out. I drop an explosive shot and I int him off the sap. Trying to get some damage going on the warrior, so we have some pressure. Cutting them super far from their Mistweaver. Look how far they're running away from their Mistweaver. This guy rallies. We get an aim shot, kill shot, into another kill shot, and he's just in a smoke bomb. GG. Our kite pass here basically gave the rogue a nice little playground to do whatever he wants. Like, this is a nice blind sap go. And we're just kiting away, kiting away. Pets done off, and, like, the smoke bomb, just, like, the positioning created the W. We didn't trap the healer one time this game. But just consistently kiting and playing off my rogue's pressure opened up a win con. And the warrior goes down. All right, here we're playing a little KFC into a Sass Rogue DK. We got the Mistweaver on our team now. Trying to flare the rogue out. My warrior's trying to get ready and get combat. My healer does get sapped though, unfortunately. This is before I updated my big debuff, so I trap in a shroud like a ledge. The rogue opens my warrior with kidney though, so I'm not scared of kidney right now. So I double tap Chakram's rapid fire the rogue and the storm bolt. We force the evasion. I turn the DK with true shot. Big dam. Has some space to work with, so we got some big damage off. Rogue steps to me, so I disengage away. I get grip back in. Steel trap the DK off me. This fucking guy trinkets the steel trap. I get stunned here. I just press wall because there's a lot of bleeds and shit on me. A lot of diseases. We get a nice little sweep here. The rogue trinkets it. I'm cranking him. I thought he was going to vanish. I tried to pretty fair the vanish there. That was the only button really he has left it defensively, is Vanish. I pet stun the healer, he trinkets it into a trap, and we force the communion. Scatter the DK for some space into a steel trap. Still just trying to hit the rogue as much as possible, throw chakrams. DK wraith walks out of the steely T. Get some uptime on me, we get a nice little storm bolt, so I hold an aim shot on the storm bolt. I get disarmed by the rogue. Drop a little volley, because you can volley while disarmed. We get a nice fear, and I trap off. The rogue does get the vanish, though. I wasn't there to flare it, unfortunately. I was a little late because I was trying to trap off the uh, the fear. But he has bleeds on him, so the rogue is back now. So we're looking to crank the rogue. I have a double tap now, but the rogue had a meld. I silenced the healer. I just went DK because the DK was low. Thought I could catch him slipping and just kill him. Um, but he just like is gonna press a couple death strikes and be totally fine. So I go back rogue. I go back rogue. Big dim. One aim. I don't have DR on the healer for a little bit because of that in cap, so I'm like watching my- I have a scatter trap really soon because we have so much pressure, I'm just like trying to wait to like scatter trap. Crank in the rogue, crank in the rogue. Get a scatter on the healer, that's all she wrote. Just playing off my warrior's pressure, kiting around. The rogue goes down. Back with the rogue now, fighting the TSG, we say to go warrior. We're running in, get A-bombed out. He actually stops the shroud with the garrote though, so we get a little pet stun trap. Psych, we miss those traps somehow because we're just the best to ever play the game. I kick the shroud in silence. We force the warrior's regen though. Warrior actually trinkets that disarm too. So the warrior has no trinket or regen, and my rogue still has death mark. And since we've been putting these guys in the kite blender the last couple of rounds, looks like they're just going my rogue now. They're sick of chasing me around. They just want to go rogue. So now I'm just doing whatever I want. I'm kind of PVEing. I tar trap these guys off. We get a little kidney bomb death mark. And if you guys didn't know this, you can actually scatter Emerald Communion. We instantly scatter it to stop it. Trap doesn't stop Communion, but scatter does. So we stop the Communion Insta. He's death mark shivved. It's just all she wrote. Kill shot, GG. Okay, so now I'm with the DK again. We say to go rogue. The evoker has a shroud up. So we're just going to drop the Chimeral Sting Silence on him and open. I stun the warrior. 
a double tap Chakram's rapid fire on the rogue. Got the evasion. Warrior leap disarms me. So here I actually tried to steel trap the warrior, but I think the hitbox of the steel trap it actually got eaten by the rogue's evasion because like I don't know where the steel trap went. It didn't like hit him and instantly break, but I definitely pressed it and he's just not on it. So. That was kind of unfortunate. I also wasted my wall because I was off stun DR. I thought I was going to get instantly stunned. But he actually just, since I was disarmed, they were waiting for the disarm to finish before stunning me. So it was kind of a bad wall. So now I'm kidneyed right as my wall ends. And this was an unfortunate scenario because I'm like sitting here waiting for my Mistweaver to cocoon me because I'm I'm in, I'm kidneyed and he's out of CC. But he opts for a revival first, which I think is was a poor trade. Um, but he's in no CC, so I'm like trusting him to cocoon me. But I'm getting so low and I'm sitting the kidney still that I just like panic trinket as he cocoons me. So it was very unfortunate. We overlapped cocoon and trinket. So now the rogue still has death mark and I know I'm just going to die for that really soon. So I'm pretty upset at myself there for trinketing. I should have just trusted the misweaver. But in soul shuffle you never know. Like sometimes you can just die without anybody pressing anything for you, you know. And you don't want to be that guy that dies without trinket turtle, you know. But here I get kidney bomb death marked now. I wasted Ross on him because he was like low-key dying on the swap too. They get a full fear on him. He probably should have trinketed this. But I turtle. I'm just dying the bleeds through turtle because Hunter is a really good class. And because I overlapped my trinket, I couldn't even dwarf the bleeds off me. Off off the stun because I trinketed. It's a 30 second cooldown shared. So it was just a very unfortunate situation to be in. A lot of wasted buttons. So we just die. It would have been a whole different story if this guy just insta cocooned this kidney. Or if I just didn't trinket and trusted him. Like right here... I should have just, like, he actually does cocoon, like, did, like, one frame before I trinket. It's very unfortunate. So I should have just trusted him, and we would have lived this round and probably just won really soon. Because I could have just instantly trinket turtle this bomb then. Or sat the bomb and dwarfed off and been totally fine. But, yeah, you mess up a couple things like that, and you will definitely lose a round in a lobby like this. It's all good. You can't win them all. We're doing pretty good. We still have four rounds in the lobby so far. We just got to go next round. Okay, we got the warrior back on my team now. We're going to go rogue. Try to flare him out. I get A-bombed out like a ledge. I get stunned instant by the DK. Dragon does a nice pull. Disengage away now. I'm trying to silence the Mistweaver. So this is what you can do to Mistweavers. It's a nice trick because like a lot of Mistweavers will port while you pet stun trap them. So if you silence, wait for the silence to hit and then pet stun. They're going to be silenced during the pet stun so they can't port. Then you can trap during your pet stun, so you can actually pest and trap a misweaver that way. The rogue has evasion, just ending. I'm disarmed, I dropped the volley during the disarm. Ramping up my damage here, true shot, double tap. I have the most damage, I'm just cleaving them both right now, they're stacked in the volley. Absolutely cranking them all, real cloak vanishes. I get sleeted. That was my wall too. Running away, get some space on the rogue, big kill shot, GG. Five rounds in an all melee lobby. Could have easily been six if I didn't fuck up that trade. But yeah, that's pretty much what you guys got to try to do. Remember the keys we talked about at the beginning of the video. And uh, obviously, you know, in the melee lobbies can be really hard. I wouldn't really expect to get more than like three or four rounds into like all melee lobbies where they just run you down the entire game. But like I said, there's things you can do to put yourself in the best situation to win. And if you trade good with your healers and extend the game and dampening, anything can happen. Playing off your melee's pressure and you can secure some Ws.